Here's a little bit of an overview before we dive into details. Type 2 diabetes is a long-lasting clinical condition that may develop for various reasons, and an organ called the pancreas in our body makes insulin that helps control the sugar that we eat. Some foods we eat turns into sugar in our body, and this gives us energy. So, people manage type 2 diabetes by healthy eating, physical activity, and sometimes take medications if they are recommended by their doctor. Now I want to explain what actually happens when we eat food. When we eat foods like breads, fruits, pasta, and berries, it goes into our body and it turns into sugar. Let's pretend this tube is your bloodstream and these circles are your body's cells. In order for you to get energy to do your everyday tasks, like walking or reading, you need sugar from food. These S's that I'm drawing are sugar in our blood that comes from food. And now, this sugar has to go into these cells, just like gas needs to go into a car in order for it to move. So. How do you think it gets inside here? Well, our body has a pancreas and that makes something called insulin. The insulin is like the key that unlocks the cell doors and lets the sugar go inside so that we can have energy. This happens over and over again every time that we eat. However, let's see what happens in our body when we have type 2 diabetes. Again, this is your bloodstream and these are your body cells. Your pancreas still makes some insulin, but it isn't working like it used to. So when we eat food, the food still changes into sugar, but the sugar isn't able to get into our cells. Since the insulin is the key that unlocks the cell doors, having type 2 diabetes is like having rusty locks and keys. This causes sugar to build up in the blood, which causes high blood sugars. It's important to understand how to manage these high blood sugars. People manage their diabetes by eating well and by exercising, and some take medications. Understanding what happens in our body when we have diabetes can help us be more confident in managing it. And in the next video, I'll talk all about food, specifically carbohydrate foods, and I'll give you practical tips on how these foods can help you manage your blood sugar levels.